And then I saw a cliff and said, I wonder if they can shoot up the cliff. Turns out they can't, but I can rectify that with teleporters because it's space golf. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Golftopia here in Dave's Amazing Space Golf, where we only have the one hole, but it's going very well. People seem to be pretty chill about it, even though apparently it's very challenging. We've got a couple of bumpers up. Yeah, Skyler there just hit the bumper and it shot the ball right back at him, but seems pretty happy about it, or at least his opponents are happy. Oh, and again, and again. Oh, Skyler. Skylar not having a good day here, but we put up the windmill to help them, so now when they tee off, the wind will blow the ball, you know, closer to their final destination over there. We've got a couple of snack and drink machines up here, we've got some lights, we've got our restroom, we've even got a space bench for them to hang out on, and now I think it's time for hole number two. That seems logical. We've got hole number one. That's not going to satisfy people for very long, though, is it? We need hole number two. It should probably start over here. That just seems evident. And then where is it going to go? Could I possibly figure out a way for to get them to go up on top of this? Let's find out. So let's put the second T right down here-ish. And I want them to be sort of shooting in this direction. Now the thing is, it can't have a hairpin turn, the fairway that is. It can't do a hairpin turn. They always, even if it's only a slight variation, they always have to be shooting forward. That's in one of these tutorials or something. They won't go up and then shoot backwards. It's always got to be progressing towards, you know, in a forward lead direction. Anyway, always got to be going forwards. Uh, so if I put it there, can they then... Let's find, you know what, I'm just going to mess around and see what happens. So let's put it there. Okay, I've done it. I've committed. I mean, I can destroy it, but I've committed. So the fairway, that's the thing they're going to shoot down. Can this go right up a hill? Can I say to you, you have to get up this hill in some way? Kind of. Yeah, it doesn't actually go up the hill, but it kind of does. I didn't even know this is going to fly, but I'm going to do it anyway. It's very short. They're not going to really dig that. It's very short, and it's in a very, very straight line. And they don't like that. But I'm going to give it a whirl anyway. Let me just... I want to make that grass again. That's just going to bug me somehow. Go very, very tiny, and then just do that. Perfect. Love it. So I'm going to see if they'll do the green up here. This can't possibly work, right? And then the hole right here. In theory, they might be able to do that. I'm going to... I've got an idea. Where's the, the shoot the ball into space thing? Hang on. Where, where is that thing? Golf structures. The ball launcher. That's what I want. Golfers will tend to shoot towards this. It's going to be blasted upwards. Not at an angle, though. And I've also got very limited places I can put it. If I put it right there, I'm just going to kind of see what happens. Got to kind of check the old finances here. I can't be spending infinite money. I'm not sure if they can even do this, but I'm doing it anyway. I should probably put a path up there. You know what? We're opening the hole and we're going to see what happens here. Okay, it's open. People can theoretically play this hole. I will be fascinated to see what happens when they do. In the meantime, there's no reason I can't be blowing some money on decoratives here. Yeah, 50 bucks for a rock? I can't imagine a better price for that. Put that down there. There's a rock for you guys. How about some trees? Yeah, let's put... Actually, can I put a tree up here? I feel that would be festive. Now, I've got a little flag up here that the length of this entire golf run fairway hole is too short. I'm not surprised. It's too short, but it's very challenging. You, you can't admit that. It's very, very high. We are maxed out on challenge there. Craziness, also very high. You're not wrong. I just want to see if somebody will play it. I wonder if they won't play it because it's too short. Like, you guys are wrapping up over here. Are you going over to hole number two? Mira, Hugo, Jay, Arnold's kind of wandering off. Yeah, they're going to give it a shot. Or they're not. Are they? What's your deal, guys? 
I think we're waiting on Arnold. Arnold had just kind of wandered off by himself there. Maybe if Arnold catches up, this foursome will get down with a little hole number two. Yeah, okay. Okay, what do you got, Jay? And it's going to roll right back down. Nothing out of Jay. I don't think they can... T oh, I have no idea what just happened there. I think... Oh, there's a fight. Hang on, hang on. There's a fight. There's a... Wait, when did I need security in this game? Jay and Marlene just had a punch-up. What? What? Oh, 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 not far enough. Okay, okay. So the ball launcher does launch it upwards in that direction, but not far enough. How about... Yeah, that's not going to cut it. They're never going to get that up there. I don't care how good you are at golf. That's like a 50-foot cliff. This is going to drive them mental. I want to come back to the fight issue. Never mind my insane golf cliff. What? When did I need security in this game? There was a legitimate dust up there. People were punching each other. Uh, how'd we do? We spent 364. We made 472. Great. I am still technically profitable. Yeah, they can't do this. There's no way they can do this. How can I make them do this? There are teleporters in here somewhere. Hang on, hang on. Okay, so golf checkpoint and then golf checkpoint tele-exit. Golf checkpoints can be turned into teleporters by adding a tele-exit. And they're fairly cheap to put up. And they must shoot through this to move on the green. Okay, Cannot build, hole must be closed. Okay, we, we can conquer that. All right, sh everyone shut it down. It's all shut down there. It's, it's all fine. Everybody go home. So, golf checkpoint. If I wanted... Oh, tricky to put this up anywhere. Uh, get rid of the bumper for now. For now. We might revisit that later. Oh, now i got to put this back. Okay, put, put my stuff back here. Fairway back up. So, back to the checkpoint. No, the checkpoint. No, the checkpoint. There we go. Golf checkpoint. Could live right there. Yes, it could. Okay, do that. Too close to T. Still too close to T. All right. Hugo, Mira, Jay, and Jade. I need you to all kind of skedaddle a little bit. I've got some major restructuring to do. Uh, th there's more fighting. R Richard and Eli just beat each other up. I did not know golf was so violent. Right, uh, let's see if we can do a fair way... This way? Sort of this way. I could, I mean, I could just loop the, nah, no, because they won't do hairpin turns. I want you guys to golf in this kind of direction, please. Yes, this is what is going to happen. Okay, I've got half of a plan. So now I want the golf checkpoint over here. Bingo, can do. Now they're going to have to golf all the way over there and then golf up there, but they won't if I make a teleporter up there. This is what I'm thinking. So tele-exit. Oh, tell me I can squeeze this up here somewhere. Yeah, perfect. Uh, right here. So, uh, too close. What do you mean too close to the hole? Of course it's too close to the hole. It's on a cliff. All right, more than a little terraforming later, because too close to the hole encompasses a very wide area. I've got my teleporter up. So here's the plan. They're going to, well, go to this checkpoint. And then it's going to teleport the ball up here, and then they can come down here. I should get them some kind of path. You know what? I want to get you a path, guys. I really do. But for right now, um, you're just kind of SOL on that. T2 is once again open for business. Hey, you only gave me a dollar, Owen. Owen, what's your problem? You're way over par. Well, it's not my fault if you're bad at golf. I have no control over that. Ball didn't go where you wanted. Again, let's readdress the issue of I'm not in charge of how bad you are at golf, Owen. Just try not to get in a punch up with. Okay, Owen's off. He's a terrible golfer, apparently, but here we are. So he's got the hill to work with here. That's going to work against him. Ian, great shot, Ian. I think Ian's in line to get to the teleporter next time. Oh, nice one from Owen. Yeah, Owen is up there, and there it is. It's teleported out, and it's rolled very gently down the hill there. Owen, I think you're going to like that. You won't see it for a while. It's going to take you a couple hours to walk up the mountain, but when you get there, your golf ball's in a pretty good position. Yeah, they would love to have a path up here, I bet. I bet it would be super, super awesome if they had a path. I wonder if they get more tired walking up hills or not. I don't know. I'm going to give you guys what you desperately want, which is a path. 
but I kind of want to link my path with the other path because I'm fussy like that. For right now, I won't. Okay, for right now, we're just going to make a path that goes vertically up this hill. Oh, how are you guys doing up here? Sorry, I haven't been paying attention to you, Ian. Ian, you're terrible. You were really good on that first shot and then not so much. Ian is in 22 bucks from Ian. Okay, fair, fair. Owen, how you doing? A dollar from Owen again. Owen, this is not a private golf club per se, but I think I can ban you. Wait, can I ban you? Owen, come here. Come here. Come here. Come come here. Come here. Owen. Now, I don't specifically see something here where I can ban them. Uh, Owen is very tired. He's going to hang out on the space bench, which is excellent. He's getting a little bored sitting on the bench, but that's that's kind of what benches are, man. All right. I don't see a specific way I can ban him, but I'm going to work on that, Owen. You ain't coming in here and playing teleporter golf for a dollar. That's just not going to cut it in my world. I will, however, continue to build the better paying golfers a nice path, again, running vertically along the hill. Uh, bring your climbing boots if you're coming on this path. Yeah, I think they'll be a little bit happier about that. And in fact, guys, what if there was a space bench down there for you? Is that public buildings? Yeah, a bench. How about there was a bench down here that you could kind of chill on when you get to the bottom of the hill? You can just hang out there. The hill is giving them a real problem here. So they they shoot at the hill here and then it rolls into the rough. I wonder, oh, right in the teleporter, Neil, well done. Oh, you almost bounced it right off the hill. That would have been so sad for you. You'd have to start all over again. I wonder if I could put up, where's those bumpers? The angled bumpers. What if I put an angled bumper, say, where do they traditionally end up? Sort of around here-ish? Will you let me do that? A little bit of an uneven terrain there. How about right, no, too steep. Okay, okay, I could get one there. It's not really where I want one. How about one here? See if that has any effect. Yeah, Neil, I think you got that one, man. I think you got that. Well done. Just chipping it off the edge of the cliff there. Tessa, are you going to sink it? Yes, you are for $22. Well, you're doing better than Owen anyway. Neil sinks it for eight bucks, Neil? Eight bucks? Can I set a minimum price? Because I ain't, I ain't having people paying a dollar. Do you know how much these windmills cost me, people? Can I set a minimum price on this? Get me to, no, get me to that. Get me to that. I can't immediately see a way to set some sort of minimum price or a price for the holes, but we're going to have to keep an eye on those golf checkpoints. Those are, those are going to be pricey to maintain. Probably less teleporting golf than I think is strictly necessary. I kind of want to put up some more obstacles and crazy things here, but the hole is challenging enough. I, everyone's really, really challenged by this hole. It's not easy. So maybe I'll just kind of lay off on that and try to build them. Maybe a more simple one for the next one. And speaking of finances, I haven't checked in on the snack shop. What's the problem with the restroom? What What's going on here? Not being used. Okay, that that's fine. You don't need to tell me when someone's using the restroom. In fact, I'd prefer you didn't unless I needed to use it myself and you were alerting me to the fact that there was somebody already in there. But apart from that, you don't need to let me know that. So last used 30 minutes ago and it's not filthy. It's fine. What What is, what is your problem about that? Well, what is your problem about that? Unused structures. I get it. Does Well, maybe nobody needs to use the restroom game. Ah, that, Mary. I was actually just coming down to see who was using my drinks machine, and you did. Will induce happiness and reduce boredom. That's cool. Yesterday's income, 10. And somebody used it. That was Mary 0.3 minutes ago. Great. And it has to be resupplied. There's my drone right now. Doing a thing to it. Excellent. Well done, droney. Yeah, I like the way this golf course is coming together. Th this is good. This is real. This is now. This is space golf. How much money do I have? Not as much as I might like. Not as much as I might like. How about, how about we work on a third hole? But this one, this one I swear to God is going to be simple. I know I probably should have done the simple one 
for hole number one, but then windmills happened and bumpers and it's all gone kind of to hell. And then I saw a cliff and said, I wonder if they can shoot up the cliff. Turns out they can't, but I can rectify that with teleporters because it's space golf. So this one, swear to God, this one's going to be nice and straightforward, guys. T number three is going to start out right about here. So you could come down the path from T number two or hole two, even though you go that way, which is fussy, but I can probably correct that. I can loop that path all the way around. You're going to come down to T number three here, and then you're going to do a fairway. We're going to do this nice and simple. Not straight line, though, because they don't like that. But maybe it went like that and like that, and then over there, sort of in that general direction. That's about the border of what I can do around here. So a little bit of that, a little bit of that, some more of that, and then a little bit of this. Okay, put the green down here. Boom, done. And then put the hole down. I want to get an idea of how they're going to shoot. So, let's see if I can pan out here. Okay, so that's like, what, a par three, a par four? Look at me sounding like I know golf things. Uh, let me see what they think of this. Let's see, that might be too simple. But I'm going to see what they think. And put a little bit of grass down in here. Actually, there's plenty of natural grass already. So let me just beef up the fairway a little bit like that. And then a little bit of that. And it's almost becoming more of a straight line now. Okay, that switched it over a little bit. All right, I'm just going to open this up and see what happens. So that's open. I don't have a ton of money to be throwing down the crazy things yet. I want to see if this is going to be challenging to them. I think I need some more space benches, too, because the foursomes that come along, two people sit down, someone else has got nowhere to sit. So how about another space bench? I think down at the bottom of the path was a good idea, but I think I need more of it. So one right there, kind of facing each other, so you can chit-chat to your friends. Now i got to even out that path. i, I got to make that path better. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. Oh, that's much better. And speaking of paths, I was going... Now i got to even that out. i got to even this out. That's slightly better. That's slightly better. And I was going to loop the path around this way. I think the paths is where it's all going to come back to bite me in the butt here. Because there's upkeep on all of this. These, these aren't long-term for free. This will cost me money over time. But I'm doing it anyway because it's my space golf course and I want it to look like what it looks like. Oh, that's a perfect spot for a bench. That is just a... That would be delightful in the trees, in the shade. Oh, come on. Who doesn't want to sit on that space bench? That's ridiculous. Oh, I missed a whole group of people doing hole number three. I can't imagine it was that challenging. Let's see how these guys do over here. Dirk and Tessa. How are you feeling about this? It's a pretty straightforward shot. Oh, that'll be a good spot for another mud pit. Yeah, that hill is just going to roll things right down there. I have to think about that. What's the deal? How are you guys? What's your general consensus? Can we, can we get a report, please, on hole number three? It is very low challenge. Not beautiful. No, oh, lighting. I haven't been putting lights down around here. Ew, yeah. Okay, so T number three is the world's most boring golf hole ever. Got it. Okay, we can work with that. I just didn't want to open it up and have it be too challenging. What we can do is get some lights going. One definitely on top of the cliff. No question of that. It's going to be dark up there. You don't want to fall over the edge. One down by here and one sort of over here-ish, I think would be a good move. Now, beauty, the problem, guys, the problem that I have is, Be Tessa, you paid me a dollar. Beauty costs a lot of money. That's the problem, Tessa. I ain't getting no space flowers in for a dollar. Well, if it's so easy on hole number three, let's put up a sand trap, because we know that ball just rolls right down that little hill there, right into the sand trap. So sand trap can live there, and then how about some of the crazy stuff around here? I could go bumpers. I haven't really messed around with the Ring of Fire. The excitement is very high on that, as it would be 
it's a ring of fire, and they want to shoot towards this if it's within their shot path. Okay, show me the shot path. That would be a good spot right there, or somewhere right here. Let's, it should be climactic. If you have a ring of fire, that should be towards the end of things. So what if we put this right here? Oh, what a blazing finale to hole number three. Pop that guy right there. That's got to beef up the excitement there, because ring of fire. All right, Skylar's in the sand trap and didn't do much better, just chipped it out of the sand trap. Understandably, Skylar's wicked sad about that. Tim. We've got a ring of fire now. I don't know if you'd notice that. Wow, that was terrible, Tim. That was just awful. Are you not even trying for the ring of fire? You're not even trying for the ring of fire. Hang on. I think I can actually mess with that. All right, so difficult to get it into the ring of fire. I will lower it to its lowest possible setting. And I'm going to... Oh, wait. Can I move it? I can't move it. I'd like to be able to move things rather than just destroying them and building them back up again. I will destroy it and build it back up again, but I'd like to be able to not do that. So, Ring of Fire, and then we are going to pop this guy right here? That doesn't make any sense, because they're not... That's not where the ball ends up. How about we did it, I don't know, sort of like here. Yeah, there. And then give me that, and then reduce that to its lowest possible height. Okay, let's see if anyone's more cheery about that one. Well, this little trio is off of hole number two and heading to hole number three. Hold the phone there, Golftopia. What could we do to them from satellites from above? Orbital extortion. That'll sap more money out of them. Well, I need that for Owen, Mr. One Dollar Per Hole. Subliminal skill. And that will get them, well, superior golf skills for a limited time. Remote resupply. Okay, that will fill up all my things that need filling up. Good to know that's there. I don't need that right now. D-Weed Bomb, again, for getting the weeds out of here. We haven't even really looked at the whole weed issue. And Mysterious Happy Beam also cures boredom and can pacify violence. So yeah, fights are a thing. Why did no one tell me there were so many fights in golf? I mean, a golf club is a great weapon, don't get me wrong. That'll do some solid damage, but I didn't realize I needed bouncers in this game. I'm going to give... I have 1,500 orbital power. This costs me 1,000. The skill one cost me eight, uh, what is it, 500. You know what? I'm going to make you guys super happy. There you go. Or at least happier. Now, how does that, Maddox, 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 come talk to me. Maddox, I need your attention. Matt, all right, Mason, you're up. Uh, I'm mysteriously happy. That's good because you hate everything else. Too dark still. Okay, I can work on that. Your best shot is still garbage. This is not my fault, Mason. This is not my fault. A place to rest just when you needed it. Okay, so benches are good too. And then other. You're just sad for minus 24. Uh, right. Oh, ring of fire. How are we doing? Mason, you didn't even try. You didn't even try, dude. Molly, counting on you. Ring of fire. Oh, not bad. Not bad. You were almost there. I feel it should be moved closer. I think this is part of the problem. This would be another good reason why I need to move that rather than destroy it and put it back up again. But I'm going to do it for you guys because ring of fire. So lowest possible height and... Is that pretty good? Is that basically where I want it? Yeah, that is actually pretty much exactly where I want it. Right about there. I still have some money left. Not a lot, if we're all honest about things, but I have some money. Um, I'm going to give... Who's getting ready to tee off around here on hole two? So you guys seem to have a real... Oh, you're already working on hole two. You got through the teleporter. It's up on the cliff. I know it's a bit of a long walk up there, but you'll learn to cope with that information. So Lucas here was wicked keen on the teleporter. I say wicked keen. It was a whole big three points. The hole has great variety different from the last hole. Oh, so that's important too. Well, it would be. They don't want to just play the same thing. You should get on to hole three, Lucas. It's got Ring of Fire. Lucas, I'm just going to tell you on a personal note, I would be way more inclined to watch golf if real golf had Ring of Fire. Possibly a few teleporters. Lucas nails the Ring of Fire. Nailed it, Lucas. I did give you that little skill booster from the orbital platform there. Luke, Nails the Ring of Fire. How are you guys feeling about that? Yeah, the crazy gadget looks fun. I believe I can tell where you thought that. Yeah, right here. 
Okay, so I think you you looked at the Ring of Fire and you said that looks fun. You're not wrong, man. You're not wrong. I think this golf course is coming along very, very well here. I'm very pleased with Dave's amazing space golf at this point. But do please let me know what you're thinking of Golftopia, and we will do a little bit more of this next time. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. If you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. W what does that mean, Deja? That's the strangest thing I've ever seen in a game, and I've been playing video games since Pong. I have perpetually and consistently blown all of my money on decoratives in any tycoon game I've ever played. Finally! Somebody has recognized my effort and given me an award for it. Hello, miss? I... I would like to purchase some baked goods and a cappuccino. To go, please. I've got things to do around here.